The grid control allows you to aggregate data and display summary values, such as the number of records, the maximum and minimum values in a column, and so on. You can display the view footer to allow end users to add or remove totals using built-in footer menus. Or you can prevent them from customizing the totals and predefined grid summaries at design time or in code. The grid control also allows you to display aggregate function values calculated against data groups. These values can be displayed in either group rows or group footers. Similarly to total summaries, built-in context menus allow end users to enable, disable, or change group summaries. Group row summaries can also be added via a specially designed dialog. You can obviously predefine the summaries to be displayed at design time or in code. By default, the grid formats summary values based on the formatting applied to column cells. By using the grid control settings, you can also add custom text to summary values and change numeric or date time value formatting using .NET data formatting specifiers. The DevExpress WinForms grid provides a built-in UI allowing end users to sort group rows by summary values. You can disable this UI if needed and sort group rows in code. The grid's API allows you to easily obtain summary values so you can use them in calculations or to conditionally format grid elements. The grid ships with five predefined aggregate functions used to calculate total or group summaries. If your application's business logic requires more advanced calculations, you can easily implement a custom function by handling a specially designed event.